Okay, Adam. Um, Merson nil Worthing two. Um, thought first half was a bit scrappy. Didn't quite get into the flow of it, but obviously difficult conditions. Bit bit of a wing going on. Pitch cutting up. Um, what were your thoughts on the first half? Yeah, I thought first half um, we got the ball into some good areas, but we didn't work our goalkeeper enough. I think there was a few free headers. Deja and Pat had one. Um, Ollie went through, didn't work the goalie, which was unlike him. And yeah, that was the message um, at half time, really. You know, I feel we've dealt with the conditions quite well. We played in their half of the pitch, a um, bit of a different kind of game plan. Um, and I thought they've they, they done well with it. Um, but yeah, that was the only thing we didn't really work the goalkeeper. Um, so yeah, I was keen to you know, test him out and said, second half, this, we get an opportunity, make sure they go on target and this is what he's all about. And, Glad that Ollie's got a couple of shots off there and they're on target. Yeah, it was quite a, quite a way out odd shot, wasn't it? In, yeah. in the second half, I was uh, we were, wasn't expecting it, and he's just hit it, and that's his thirty first of the season. And we keep talking about Ollie Pierce, but he comes in with that magic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think um, you know to have that kind of player this season, uh, he, he's, he's been that player that's provided that bit of magic uh, on a number of, of occasions when games have been tight. Um, you're reliant on someone to step up for you and he's, he's done that on like plenty of times uh, for us this year so you know can't speak highly enough of him but I thought we, all in all um, you know the squad today to, to be able to make the changes we've made after a 6-0 win um, you know one to give us a bit more physicality and play with a bit more aggression and I thought you know the lads have come in were excellent. Yeah and obviously second half made a couple of changes Reese Meekin came, came on after injury um, chipped him with a goal from a, a Otley Pierce free kick, which which was carried, and David Rodari um, yeah. making his debut for the club as well. Um, some some narrow because again that's more strength in the in, in the squad, isn't it? No, yeah, I think um, you know since David's come training with the, the, the group this week, um, really has sort of made everyone uh, up their game a little bit, you know, um, and that's what we want. I, I've had to have a conversation with. Um, four players before the game to say that they're not even in the squad today and we've got Danny Barker back now as well so that's going to be five on Tuesday um, and you know they've they've taken it on the chin and um, you know been ultra professional in, in their attitude obviously disappointed but I think we've got now 20 players that all want to play and all feel they should be playing and you know that's just real really healthy competition and at this stage of the season when we're sort of challenging on three fronts it's, um, it's important to have that. Yeah, like you say, there's going to be some disappointing players when they're getting people picked in week out, week in, week out. But obviously, with the run of games we've got coming up, then you've got to have that squad to to maintain our position at the top of the league. Yeah, I think so. And not every game is going to be the same. Like um, you know, if this is at home, it's a it's a completely different contest. Um, you know, the pitch plays a little bit better, plays um, a little bit into how we like to play. Um, and then uh, yeah, so. It's uh, you absolutely need what to do about it. <laughs> sorry, I knew you took a child out as sorry, you ran yeah. past. <laughs> you got your arm up there. That's what the lads done well today, to be fair. Yeah. No, yeah, it's a different different contest at home, isn't it, uh, on our surface that we've got uh, now. So, yeah, to be able to adapt and, and, and deal with what's been chucked at us is important. <laughs> <laughs> we have slightly lost it, yeah. We've lost um, it. I knew you took a kid out of the game. Um, <laughs> But um, coming, obviously, we've got a five-point lead now at the top of the league. Uh, game, game in hand, Enfield lost 2-0 today. Well, really? um, obviously, we, we just have to concentrate on our own results, and obviously we've got three big games coming up. So is, is that just going to be the message? Just forget about the others. Forget about the chasing pack. Let's yeah. just concentrate on what, what we, we've got. What we can control. That's all yeah. we can do. Um, and that's Tuesday night, putting in a good performance at home. Um, you know, we look at what squad we've got available, if there's any knocks and stuff like that, uh, and go with a squad that we and a team that we feel can go and get the three points on Tuesday night. And that's that's as far as our as our thoughts go. Um, that's all we can control. Um, we show the sort of aggression and um, determination in our defending like we've done today. Then it's, uh, it's put us in good stead uh, moving forward. That's fitness three clean sheets and the belts now. So it's something that we want to maintain uh, going into Tuesday. Okay, we'll see you Tuesday evening. Cheers.